Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Judy from Seiji Mood Ceramics, that's Eugene. And we have a kiln opening today. I used the first time Camille Hoffman's um, slow cool sketcher. I tweaked a little bit on the target temperature in the end, the peak temperature. I fired to 2195. So I hope I get the cone 6. And yeah, let's see what we got. Okay, so the first thing we have is a big test tile and I use the Blick Art material, low fire glazes to um, see how they turn out on uh, cone 6 and I think they did really good. Okay. I knew that it gonna warp, but I didn't mind because it was anyway a broken tray, so I just wanted to see how the color turned out. Okay, what do we got? Oh my god. Didn't, I mean, it looks nice, but I didn't expect it to be that light. I wanted to have it a little bit more blue, but I still like it. So I used uh, three times Coyote White, then uh, two times um, Cirrus Flow, and on the rim Midnight Blue, twice. And in the middle I used Amaco uh, Iron and Iron Rush, uh, Iron Wash underneath. I mean, it's cute. It's my little dinner plate on 266 standard clay. I like it. But like I said, I wish it would be a little bit more blue. <laughs> okay. Take off my broken shelf. Let's see what for cone I fired. Please be cone 6 and not 7. It's 6. It's a good 6. Awesome. Okay. I used, what did I use? Um, it was Sangria on the rim twice. At first I used uh, Kimchi completely on the whole blade three times and then Sangria two times on the rim and a little bit of the Amaryllis and yeah, looks nice. Also 266. Standard clay. This here is one of my sage dishes, the top part of it. Fired it with birch and a little bit midnight blue, which you can't really tell right now. But I'm very happy with the firing schedule. I got to cone seven. <laughs> six and a half. Uh, I fired to six and a half. Still I like it. I might gonna tweak again a little bit on the temperature, a little lower, not much, but I do like it. I might give that to my husband. So my handy husband is here. I need your help for the middle shelf. So this here I do love. I use Cirrus Flow the complete plate three times and on the rim I used a little midnight blue and then I added one coat I think yeah it was one coat of um, desert dusk and I like that combo very much yeah that's a good also 266 standard one of my favorite clays and I have some beads underneath here. Let's see if they survive. If they did. Okay, I put a bunch of colors on it, so I don't know what for colors are on it. <laughs> but I see that one hole is closed, so I have to um, go with the Dremel through it. I give them all David. Can you try to get them off? Put them somewhere. Thank you. 
they're stuck, I don't mind. Yeah, just leave them. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, the first one is oh a big runner. Let's see if I can save that. But the color is awesome. So that's flux blossom from the outside and the inside twice. On the rim I have twice sangria. And on the lower half I have autumn purple twice. And in the middle I put a rim of sandstone. And then <laughs> I put um, also over the middle desert dusk. And a little bit honey flux on the on the rim on top. So the color is very nice, but way too much clay. Or I should have put it maybe on the stilt. Oh, let's see if I can uh, save it. Okay, then to the next one. Number two. Okay, also a runner. Just wanna look at it. That was three times birch from the inside, one time sandstone on the outside and rim. Um, then on the rim I did some dots of pepper plum. On the outside I did one time desert dusk and honey flux. Okay, turned out nice. So number three, what was this here? Ooh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Okay, that number three was Cirrus Flow from the inside and from the outside three times. And I added one desert dusk from the outside on it. Pretty. Okay, number four should be this here. Ooh, that is. So far my favorite. Look at this. That is perfect. I keep doing this one. So we have birch on the inside three times. Also one time on the rim from the outside. Then I put sangria on the rim and on the middle. Three, uh, from the rim to the middle three times. Then lustrous jade two times from the middle downwards, like the, the lower half, and then Amaryllis on the middle, and on the rim a little bit. And just on the rim, a little band of honey flux. Isn't that not cute? I love it. That is really nice. So, which one was number five? That was this here. Ooh, thank God I used this boot. Oh, I like it. That's a beautiful one. So, um, number five. Flux blossom three times from the inside and two times from the outside, the top half. Then the lower half, I add on two times kimchi and the lower half one time amaryllis, rim one time sangria, and the middle one time sangria. <laughs> Thank you, David. The oil bottle. So let's see. Okay, it doesn't really show. Seasoned with love should stand on it. Oh, I love the color. Oh. I want to show it? I know it. So I used um, the what does it call the underglaze, the white one, uh, which you can't really tell the the stamps, but you can read love at least. And I used um, three times all over flex plasm. In the middle, I used um, kimchi, and on the lower half, I used sangria. And a rim 
on the rim, uh, not on the rim, like on the um, a band of amaryllis around here. I do love it. Oops, sorry. I love it. Something else? Did I not use something else? No, that was it. So flax blossom, sangria, amaryllis, and kimchi. Oh, I love it. Okay, perfect cone six on my lip. So, number seven, what was number seven? Seven is this. Well, I think that's gonna be a reef fire with another case of top. That looks a little boring. Lustrous straight from the inside three times. Outside I put one, one coat of lustrous straight. The lower half out in purple twice. On the rim I uh, on the rim and on the middle I used amaryllis one time. Yep, and a little bit boring. So let's see if that stuck together because that was intentionally perfect. Not come off. So I didn't uh, write down the the colors I used because I used almost every color I had standing around. But you can't really tell. Uh, the main color is flux plasm. It's a wax burner or essential oil burner for my mom. Should be fine. I like it. At least you can read it. Good vibes. <laughs> Then number eight, this here. Okay, a little bit boring, but you can see the flow of life at least. I used flax blossom three times. And on the inside, three times lustrous jade. On the rim, sangria. Yeah, so flux plasma on that clay body is like me. It's a reclaimed clay, so I don't know what clays clay are in there. Okay, number nine. Where are you, number nine? Ooh, I love you. You look so good. Number nine is so pretty. Oh. Number nine it is inside and outside top half. Kimchi three times. In the middle I add two times sangria. On the lower part I add two times out in purple. And then on the top Half I added on a pepper plum. That's a very nice color. Pretty. Okay. So for the other ones I don't have something written down. That is only birch. I like it. Could you give me the uh, other part, the the lid? Mm -hmm. So let's see if the lid fits. It does fit. So that is my little burner, my little um, Paolo Santo burner. Or you can put jewelry in it. It looks so cute, so stinking cute. I need with two kitties. Hmm. How did they turn out? Cool. Mm, brown. <laughs> I used that uh, Blick material, the, the Blick uh, low fire glazes on the cats, and uh, yeah, they are like dark, but first time it's okay. And can you read it a little bit, maybe? 
it's a nice saying in German. I like the trips on it. Um, I, I did use uh, Flux Plasm completely over it, I know that. On the rim I used a uh, lustrous shade, maybe like one, one little bit on the, on the rim. And out in purple, I remember that. Maybe a few blobs of pepper plum. <laughs> okay, sandwich chicken for my grandma. So that was uh, a mug which didn't turn out, so I hand built a chicken out of it. And that's gonna be um, like an, um, how you call that, like wind chime. Like I, I put a string through it and add on the other beads I made and yeah, let's see how she likes it. Um, I used the black material low fire glazes here on the face so it was running the main color here is from Coyote the white and every color I had standing around I put on the other parts of the chicken <laughs> so I don't know what the color it is but it, it looks cute it's for, the, for her garden I hope she likes it she has so many chickens poor lady <laughs> she gets always chickens those are the bells I'm gonna attach to it that's um, blue rutile, uh, that is birch, oh, that is um, uh, flex blossom on 266. And a few more beads mm. and a few more belts. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> My husband is playing around with the, with the belts. Yeah, a few more. Oh, that is uh, sun clear on its own. If you can tell, probably not. It's a little dark. Okay, and this is a worry stone. That's a paw print of Sven, our cat. I had some leftover clay. I was like, oh, let me stamp your paw in it. That's so cute. It's a blue rutile. Should have put a little bit more on it, but not cute. Okay, last shelf. One more bit of nail. David, can I give you the shell? Your little monk. So blue rutile, three coats. That's Yuli. Can't really tell on the camera, but she wanted to have just a print in it. Back it. That is Papa or Thorsten. This is for Mama. Yeah, I like it. Then one for Mina. That's the dog. Mina. She gets a water bowl. Blue dye. And the last one, our oh, dinner blade. I mean, I like it, but like I said, I wish it would be a little bit more blue. I don't know if I refine it. Maybe I'll just leave it like this. Maybe a little accident. Nice. So pretty, I like it. That's what I got. Do like it. Mm -hmm. Color pop really nice. Cool. Okay, guys, thank you for watching.
Bye bye. Thanks. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs>